Two at 10 Quincy City leaders calling the rental rehab program one of the most successful they have when it comes to investment. Tonight, Quincy City Council approved an ordinance that allocates money to the projects that were approved earlier this year. WGEM's Brett Neese is live in downtown Quincy with more for us. Yeah, Alexandra, this building is on the latest set of projects within that program. The contractor says that that program allows them to put a modern twist on some of these old buildings and bring new life to the downtown. This would be like a master bedroom right over here uh, with, a, with a nice size living area. And we're going to open that facade up and that will have a view of Washington Park. Ryan Carlin and his crew at Derek Price Construction is hard at work on renovating the former Taylor's Fine Furniture Building. These downtown buildings always just sit for so long and uh, we, uh, we go through and we put apartments in them and bring them back to life a little bit. The building will be home to four brand new apartments and the main floor will feature an office space. The work is thanks in part to the city's rental rehab program. Going into a project like this, it's a it's a big investment, and in, you know what the city does to throw a little money back to offset the the overall cost of the project. That's it's it's helpful. It's very helpful. Tonight, City Council finished up clerical work on the funding part of that program. A program the mayor says has revitalized much of the downtown. It's shown to be a good investment for the taxpayers. Uh, for every dollar of, of TIF funds that we invest, uh, we're seeing right now about a dollar forty invested by private partners. This isn't the first time Carlin has worked on a project like this. He says sometimes they can be difficult, but that's what makes them more rewarding. This one's not been that bad. Nothing that we haven't expected, at least. Um, back walls are usually an issue, but we know how to fix them up. And it probably looked like there was quite a bit of work left to do, but Carlin says that they hope to wrap up this project sometime in the spring. Live in Quincy, Brett Neese, WGEM News. Okay, Brett, thanks so much. And in order to be eligible for this program, the property has to be located within the TIF district, which is from the riverfront to 9th Street and then from Jersey up to Broadway. It's another way the city is putting an incentive on investors to restore the Gym City's downtown. This story continues on WGEM News Today tomorrow. The city budgets $100,000 a year for the rental rehab project. Hear why they sometimes go over that budget. WGEM News Today starts at 5 a.m. On